That little guy, I don't know if you can see him, it's a mud skipper. And if you're like me and you grew up watching Ren and Stimpy, you may recognize it. That is uh, Muddy the Mud Skipper, right there. There's another one right there. And they're uh, fish with, they have like little legs, is it Steven? Yep. Yeah, they got little legs, so they can swim, and then they can kind of like scoot around in the mud. There's hundreds of, of land. Oh, well, there's like, d yeah, this ridiculous number of holes filled with crabs. Land crabs. Yeah, land crabs, just like everywhere. Yeah, I would like, if you like, went over there, you'd just be surrounded by crabs. Yeah, I'll see you skipping. There's a pretty little tree on the side of the road with these cute little flowers on it. And Steven says that, oh, this is edible, but it tastes terrible. So naturally, I'm going to have to eat it. So there's the flowers. Here are Cordia sebestana. The fruit are edible, though not flavorful, and the wood is much appreciated. Fruit is edible. How do you know it's terrible? You've had something related? Yep. Yeah. You're yeah. going to find out soon. Have you had this one? <laughs> no. What's great, though, is that for some reason that information is wrong. We are uh, at the hospital. It's not terrible. Maybe this one's not good. This one's more white. See that one? We're gonna zoom in of this cordia. Pretty white fruit. Yeah. Worse. It's not something you'd want to eat. It's bitter. Like a little bit. Hi. Hi. It tastes like if you took like a green twig off a tree and started gnawing on it. Maybe a little bit like cucumber, but like a bad cucumber, like a bitter cucumber, a little gourdy, it's like a vegetable. Definitely not sweet. There's no sugar in there at all. It's a zero out of ten. There's no sourness. It's a zero out of ten. But not horrible. I mean, I would eat like every fruit on this tree before I took one bite of noni. You know, it's not bad. It's just really not good. It's just like eating a vegetable. I would like cook with this maybe. Like you would cook with like zucchini, maybe it would taste good like that. Fry it some garlic, but eating it raw, it's like biting into a squash. All right, well, when in Rome. <laughs> yeah. It tastes like biting into a, a green squash. Yeah. Oh, it has an aftertaste though. Like a, like a bitter, a bitter, like green pumpkin flavor. Yeah. Like you know, you get the sap of green pumpkins or green. Okay. Chainsaw in the background. So more more squashiness, just of a different variety. Yeah. Not a, not a fan. Yeah. It's not very good. But it's there. It's edible. We found it, and it's like endemic. Yeah, not, not High endemic. High five! Yay! All right, wait, it's not endemic? No. All right, we take it back. All right, cool. Yeah. Let's see what other horrors we can find. What's this? I want to give a special shout out to AltPod and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon is how this channel happens, it's how I can afford to do all the things that I do. So if you want to help me out by supporting the channel and getting some bonuses along the way, check out the description. I also have these shirts for sale. Those are in the description as well. See you next time. Bye.